The process of turning trees into usable lumber on a large scale takes plenty of manpower and machinery. And one of the biggest sawmills in the state is right here at Faircloth Forest Products, a family-run operation with humble beginnings. My son got out of school and went to work with me, and one day we decided we'd put a small mill up of our own and try it. And uh, it was very successful. And uh, we tried that for a few years, and uh, opportunity come by later on that encouraged us to grow. And, uh, we started uh, just adding on a little bit here, a little bit there. Now Faircloth is the supplier of lumber for CHIP, the largest pallet manufacturer in the world. That means logging, sawing, and packaging is nonstop in order to keep up with the demand. Now we've got a 100 million board feet sawmill here that we produce lumber for. And uh, all our lumber is packaged in right here on site. We do not sell lumber out on the uh, Lumber market is packaged for a use here to one customer, and uh, it all works out very well here. We stay very busy with steady expanding and uh, good supply of timber and resources here to do it with. Sustainability is a major priority as everything from the sawdust to the bark is used in making a variety of products. Chief among them are these wood pellets that are shipped all around the world. And with the updated machinery that runs 24-7, more than 200,000 tons are produced annually. It works really well with our sawmill here. We use all the residuals here, go directly to our pellet mill. Uh, the chips and the sawdust, we use them in the pellet industry. And the bark, we use it to dry, fire our dry kill, to dry our lumber with. Now, everything that comes in here, we use it. Nothing goes out. Uh, it's all used right on our home base here. So this is truly a one-stop shop for lumber as all the products necessary to produce lumber and pellets can be found right here on site, which simplifies the process. So what we do, we got large bins that trucks uh, come under and we load them on and transport them over to the pellet mill and we unload them there. And from there, they're, they're installed in the process uh, of the pellet mill of drying it and grinding it and getting it to the right moisture content to uh, make the pellets out of it. With Georgia being the home to the most commercially farmed forest land in the country, it's an industry that has a major impact on the state's economy and employment. The amount of people that's involved is tremendous. Not only the people directly involved in the sawmill business, the pellet mill, but our loggers that we got in the woods, the truck drivers, and look at the equipment dealers. Those are tremendous amount of equipment that has to be made through other companies to supply us to keep us to making this kind of product. Reporting from Emanuel County, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.